Alrighty, so you want to build some drone gates. That's what we're gonna go to do today. Uh, obviously 533 has some that are available, but you can buy drone gates from just about uh, this whole list of stores right here. But that's just the fabric usually you're buying. You're not buying the stakes, you're not buying the PVC. What kind of PVC do you buy? Can you use EMT? Do you need to have connectors? What kind of connectors? There's all these questions that I don't feel have been answered in a proper video. So we're gonna take a field trip to Home Depot and then go by the 53 shop, build some gates, and hopefully you learn something along the way. So let's go. Here's our PVC. We have half inch, three quarter inch, and one inch. They're all used for different purposes. I'd say uh, most of the gates we use are three quarter inch. Uh, it's gonna be a nice balance between uh, you know, durability, uh, price, and then also just uh, portability. Half inch, uh, people will use the gates just to be a little bit flimsier and uh, they might break after the quad hits them a couple times, but definitely usable. And like I said, on the cheaper side, three quarter inch that's used by most people because it's durable, it's relatively inexpensive and very stiff. So it's not gonna hurt your quad too much. And then you have one inch, which is a lot heavier, a um, lot thicker. Uh, and more expensive and it's used a lot in more like double gates and things that we'll talk about. Uh, 10 feet long each one. Um, grab as many as you need for the gates and then we're gonna go to grab a PVC cutter as well. Then you're gonna need some elbows. So you have these 90 degree elbows and the T elbows. So that's if you wanna make like a flag on top or maybe a double gate or you can do the half inch as well uh, in the elbow or the T as well. So just make sure you get the correct elbow for the PVC. And then from the future here, you also will need to buy couplers. The most efficient way to utilize all the PVC you buy is by buying basically two 10 foot pieces equal one gate. And you get uh, basically you cut two six foot pieces and then you're left with two four foot pieces. And then you can buy a coupler, put the two four foot pieces together and then cut that to length for the top piece and then that will equate to one gate. So you're gonna need to buy half inch, three quarter inch or one inch couplers, depending on what size PVC you get. And then that will equate to about two pieces of 10 foot PVC to one gate if you use that method. Here's the conduit of EMT. If you want something really durable and really reliant uh, to the wind and weather and stuff, you can go with this. Um, a three quarter inch is what we'd recommend for that. And then you get something like the maker pipe fittings, but you are gonna, if you hit this with your quad, it is gonna do some damage. And that's really only useful if you're going for the champ seven by six gates, but I would recommend something like this if you are doing those larger champs gates, just cause they are like wind sails basically in the wind. So just a thought. Alrighty. The first thing we need to do is order our gates. So you go to the fly five through three website, go to gates, and we'll look at all the options we have. So we have the 5-3-3 gates in both a single pack and a five pack. Why is the focus being so crazy? Um, and then we also have the seven by six in the single and the five pack. So that'd be like consider champ size gates over here. These would be five by five gates over here, your typical multi-GP size. And then we also have these really nice fancy HQ prop gates uh, that are five by five. Um, so it's fun to, you know, you can make the pick based off of what suits you and your track. Uh, but today we're just going to be setting up a typical five by five drone racing gate. And this should apply to just about any of these as far as the methodology to cutting your material and so forth. The price for a five by five gate is about $26. And if you want to do a five pack, you're looking at about $120. Uh, so you do get a bit of a discount uh, if you go the five pack route. And you can set up, uh, I would say the GQ track is 10 gates. So I'd say for you know below $250, you can have all the gate panels you would ever need. And then uh, depending on what kind of PVC and so forth you go with, um, you can have a, a really nice track for relatively inexpensive um, if you and a couple buddies go in on it. But today we're just gonna do a single gate. Again, it'll be about $26. And yeah, let's go grab it. Over here. Gonna grab our five by five gate and go outside. Additionally, we've built a tool that we're just calling the 533 drone track budget sheet. It's really just a Google sheet, but it's actually incredibly useful. Say you wanna build 10 gates, but that means you need to buy couplers, you need to buy rebar, you need to buy elbows, you need to buy fabric, and it just, there could just be one sheet that you click how many gates you want and it interpolates out how many dollars you need. 
then that'd be awesome. And that's exactly what this does. So you see here, this is linked below. You just type in how many gates you want to build. Say you want to do nine. That's nine gate fabrics. That's 18 10 feet PVC uh, pieces. That's 18 elbows. That's nine couplers. And that's 18 pieces of rebar. Here's the price of all of them. Here's the total for each one. Say you already have the PVC. You can just see this is how much gate fabric you need. This is how many elbows. Here's links to each one. These are all linked to Home Depot. Um, and then the 533 fabric, but you can do other ones as well. The store, your grand total. And then this is calculated without bulk discounts. So as you get into like five, like there's five gate deals. There's, you know, from Home Depot, once you get above like 10 pieces of rebar, there's deals and there's elbows and there's deals. So this is as expensive as it'll be. And it, you know, the price will be, I guess, correct for one gate, which is around 49, 50 bucks. Um, but then as you do more gates, they will get cheaper over time. But I just, you know, uh, built this to give you the, the upper range. So you can, um, I guess it, it'll only be better if it's cheaper, but this price will kind of be a little bit um, inflated if you will. And these are the prices as of Monday, August 7th, 2023. So if you're watching this video 10 years later, and oh my God, this is so much less expensive or more, I don't know what the world's gonna be like, but this is the prices that I have found on the computer literally just five seconds ago on August 7th. So hope you use this tool and helps you guys budget out your drone tracks moving forward. So they come in a nice little wrapped up package like this. Open up, get a free rubber band slash bracelet with every gate panel, that's it. And then you kind of just hold one side and open it up. This looks like our top piece. And then these are the two side pieces. So we'll lay those out. See the quality is really nice. You have these grommets here that we'll use for zip ties, which you'll learn about here in a little bit. And then you have this spot that opens up and that's where our PVC will slide through to make the gate. Okay, now that we got our gate laid out and we have our PVC here, we need to, um, I guess, measure. And um, there's no perfect way to do this and I'm not going to give you exact dimensions because you may have maybe the FPV gates which are slightly larger panels or you have a seven by six or you're cutting this or you're cutting that and you'd like to cut a different way. So I'm just gonna show you the methodology in which we cut it. And then as long as you have one of these fancy dancy PVC cutters, they were like $10 at Home Depot that I showed you all yesterday, um, then you should be good to follow this way. So it's really easy, um, all you'll do is just feed the PVC in through the legs and through the top and kind of just build the gate with the PVC that's super long. And um, I'll show you how we kind of line everything up and then we'll just cut it and um, you'll be most of the way through uh, your first gate build. So you'll see we've got the PVC fed through the side here and it's way too long and even ran it through the side of the top panel. Um, and then we also, I guess it's kind of hard to see here, have the top piece ran through. Uh, it's a little long as well, but don't just, oh my God, everybody's honking at me. Uh, but it's important not to just line them up like this because the hinge is going to separate them slightly. So you can use a PVC hinge or we have these fancy 3D printed hinges, which are amazing because they fold and slide in the back of your car or trailer or truck or whatever. I'll put the, the print file for this in the description. But if you had a PVC hinge, you would then mount the PVC hinge, um, but essentially fit it as if the gate was built um, and then we'll go from there. Once you have the hinge uh, or the PVC in the right and the bottom of the hinge, then we're gonna come down here and we're gonna use a tip that Armando set. So you could, in theory, cut it right at the bottom, but Armando says he always likes to add just a hair, like a hand's length. So we're gonna cut it just about here just give ourselves a little bit more room um, in case you set it up you know uneven or whatever it's just nice to have a little bit of extra room so that's where we're gonna cut it and we'll come over here crack open this PVC cutter thing like so. and this, these things are super cool unlock the bottom ka -chow, and then you just come over here just gonna grab it right here and just click, click, click. 
and you would be amazed at how easy you can cut through PVC. There you go. And that's the left side of your gate. Now let's come over here to the top. Now obviously we're not able to put the hinge on this side until it's the proper length. So we're gonna come over here and uh, you can always go shorter, but you can't go longer. So we're gonna stick on the, uh, and we're just gonna cut it right in line with this one so that we can at least align it. And while, so now, it's gonna be a little long, but we, like I said, we can always go shorter. And while I'm over here and you see this, here there's a coupler uh, linking these two pieces of PVC together. So when you cut PVC, it's not gonna always be perfect uh, to have like, you cut it in half and now you have two gates. Like it's not gonna work like that. There's gonna be some pieces that are too short. But if you buy these little couplers at the store, then you can then just put those spare pieces of PVC together to make longer pieces. And it's not the most durable thing in the world. It's not perfect. And if you can just get all PVC so you can have all one length, then that's great. Uh, but if you want to save some money and be, um, you know, resourceful, get some of this. Looks like my dad's used some of that, like, PVC glue to try and keep it together and not pull apart. Um, but if you're seeing, like, wait, what's that? Then um, that's where my dad has put together two pieces um, to do something like this, which honestly, in our case, has worked out great. Alrighty, so again, before we cut this, we're gonna come put our hinge up here at the top. Looks like, uh, as I said before, that's gonna be a little bit too long. So we're gonna cut this down probably to right in there. Have a nice area for our hinge to come on. And then once that's secured and we're happy with that, we'll go down to the bottom and cut that length properly. Come in here and do a guesstimate. Looks like the bottom's good. We'll go a little bit further. We're gonna cut, yeah, cut right in. I guess that makes sense, right? We'll cut right in there. All right, let's see if that fits. It's a bit of a pain, uh, especially to do one-handed while trying to hold the camera, but we're gonna try here. All right, uh, I'm sure some of you noticed this is actually a one-inch hinge. I didn't have a three-quarter inch handy, but it does fit on there and it does that for measuring purposes, it's great. Got the top right all situated. Now we're going to make sure we're at 90 degrees. Nice. Come down here to the bottom. Give ourselves that little hands length. Open this up. Come in here. Just make sure. Nice. So, there's our scrap pieces. That would be stuff we could use for couplers later on. And then here's the beauty of the foldable hinges. You come in here. ka -chow. Ka-chow. There's your gate, all folded up. You don't, you didn't have to wrestle it putting on PVC corners or anything. You get to the field, open it up, ka-chow, and ka-chow. You have a perfect gate. Uh, let's talk stakes before we're done. You can go with just typical rebar. Um, I believe this is a two-foot piece. Um, tends to work pretty well. Get yourself a hammer. And then instead of measuring from the bottom, uh, the, the gate tends to be narrow, um, measure from the top. That'll give you a true, uh, like perfect five by five. So lay the gate down like that, go from the top. One there hammered in, one there hammered in. And you'll have a perfect gate. Say hi, mom. Hi, mom. <laughs> It'll look like that, or that, or that, or that. All right, so as we wrap up the video, we have the gate builder himself, Quad Doc. And if somebody were to just get into building gates, I just did kind of like a how to build a gate video. Yeah. How, uh, do you have any tips for anybody building gates? Oh, you um, got me on the spot here. Yep. I think if you're gonna leave them out, you're about leaving gates yep. out in the weather. Yeah, sure. I'd go with one inch PVC. One inch, okay. I talked about three quarter inch here. So you don't like half inch, you don't like three quarter, one inch is the way to go. One inch, yeah. Yeah, that's what these hinges are for, and you love these hinges, right? 
I do. They're not absolutely necessary. If you're going to leave a track up, those hinges are not really worth doing. Okay. But if they're you're, really, if you're going to be breaking yeah. the course down and back up, then hinges. But otherwise, just do uh, one inch PVC and then uh, what is it like? Uh, by two 10 foot pieces. Uh huh. And then I'm trying to remember what you're supposed to do. You cut uh, one piece uh, six feet. Yep. And you got four left over. Yeah. Cut the other piece six feet. And you got four left over. Get a coupler. Yeah. Take the four foot piece, the other four foot piece, ah. put them together, and then trim that into a six foot piece. Ah. And you got your six foot top. Ah. And two five uh, foot legs. Yeah. So two 10 foot pieces should make a gate. One gate. And then last thing, the double gate. What is your best double gate method? Do you uh, need conduit? Do you do all PVC? I'm, I'm all PVC now. Oh, okay. Because conduit, you know, it's electrical conduit. Yep. You know what that is? It's metal. That is metal pipe. You know what it's designed to do? Uh, conduct electricity. No, it's designed to run electrical wire through, oh, I think. Okay. And it's designed to be bent. Oh. So guess what it does? Okay, the storm bent. comes to it, bends. Okay. So I like to get that bigger, I think that's one and a quarter PVC. I saw that in the garage, yeah. Then you take your one inch gate, any one inch gate. Uh-huh. And if you got the right uh, attachment here, you can show Order. On the bottom? Yeah, on the bottom, and then you get a one inch gate and you can just uh, set it in the. Oh, it goes inside. Yeah, so you got a little side piece of the one and a quarter. Uh huh. And then you get your uh, one inch PVC and you put a little duct tape on it <laughs> to make it stop. Oh. That's just a, that's just a regular one inch gate. Okay. Just put it on this there. Is that, do you have to make this piece any longer? Nope. Ah. And then just drops in and that's your double. Yep, that's your double. Well, and it holds up really well in the weather, and you don't have to tie it much. So, so you need one and a quarter for the bottom, bend, it, and it, it hardly yeah. ever breaks. Interesting. Then you need to show how to do a dive gate. Oh yeah, that'll be for the next video. Let's not get ahead of ourselves that's here. It's easy. I got that one from uh, Not Fury. <laughs> yeah, so that's an old that. video. That's an old yeah, video. Yeah, well, it works. <laughs> it's so easy. <laughs> All right. It well, holds up better to weather than anything. Yeah, that dive gate never comes down. It yeah. Never does. Oh yeah. Well, we learned something, and thank you, Quad Doc. You're welcome.